group. And um, thank you everyone for coming out today and sharing your Sunday uh, with each other in such a, an important issue as stopping the live animal export trade. I'd like to acknowledge, before I commence speaking on live animal exports, that this land we're meeting on today is Aboriginal land. In fact, always was and always will be. And I pay my respects, and I'm pretty sure the respects of the crowd, to those elders past and present of the land on which we're gathered. But I'd also like to talk about the mere fact of the live animal export trade, because the way we as humans and as a human society treat those creatures who are absolutely at our mercy is the ultimate mark for how we have developed as a human society. If we come together and pass laws, allow for practices that treat our fellow creatures, our fellow sentient creatures, with such gross inhumanity, utterly indifferent to the fact that they may have two months of torture on a boat to the Middle East on the way to a tortured end to their sorry, miserable lives, then what does that say for us as a people? What does that say for us as a nation? It is a mark, an indelible mark of shame on us if we don't stand up and end this cruel and inhuman export of our fellow sentient creatures, whether sheep, cattle or otherwise. Now, one, one of the reasons we're all out here on a Sunday is because we recognise, we recognise that our government, after having the issue squarely placed on their agenda the better part of 12 months ago, has failed to live up to the community export expectations of stopping the cruelty of this export, of this export culture. The so-called supply chain assurances that the federal government has negotiated with Indonesia do not protect our animals and do not stop the cruelty from happening in Indonesian, in Indonesian slaughterhouses. At its very highest, these so-called assurances encourage the use of stunning of animals before they're killed in Indonesian abattoirs. And we know, because of the hard work of groups like Animals Australia and other brave people who have got to Indonesia and looked at the practices, in at, in at least a dozen abattoirs in Indonesia, they are not practising stunning before they slaughter the animals. And we know that that's cruel, we know that that's inhuman, it is an unnecessarily brutal way for these animal, animals to end their lives just to feed us humans. But we also know that not only do the supply chain assurances not work, we know that no agreement like that will work. Because as soon as the animals leave our shores, we as a people, as, a, as hopefully a nation with a conscience, have no control over how these animals are treated. In just the last three decades, just the sheep export trade to the Middle East alone, two and a half million animals have died in appalling conditions just during the journey to the Middle East. Because we have no or minimal standards in how those animals are treated. And as I said before, when they leave our shores, they have this needless, brutal suffering just on the way to a brutal short death in the Middle East. It's not good enough. We need to end the practice now. And we need to then bring those jobs that otherwise are happening overseas back to Australia. Because if we are to have an animal industry, as, as, as indeed is part of our economy, we should be having the jobs of killing the animals and slaughtering them on shore. So not only can we ensure, not only can we ensure that the practices are as humane as possible, but we keep the jobs and the investment here in Australia, and we don't export those overseas. So our economic interests are in ending this practice. Our social and humane interests are in ending the practice. And it's for that reason that the Greens have presented a bill in the Australian Federal Government to absolutely end this cruel practice. Now, that bill will not succeed unless the community gets behind it. That bill will not get through Parliament unless we have more of these rallies, with more of us coming out, because we know that in around the dining rooms of, of this of this country, at the water at the water coolers in offices, people are saying we want to end this practice. Now, some of the parties in the federal government are not listening, but enough people are out there with their ears tuned. Enough of us 
coming together can make sure that we end once and for all this brutal practice. Good luck to all of you for coming. Thank you so much, Gary. That was wonderful.